Hello everyone, this is Firoz Nadav. In this video, I am going to talk about working stress method. I am going to introduce about working stress method. You see, working stress method is one of the design philosophies out of three design philosophies uh, that are used to design RCC structures. So what are those three uh, design philosophies? One of them is WSM then we have ulm and then finally we have lsm limit state method so these are the three design philosophies that are used to design rcc rcc structures or steel structures for that matter now we will see what is the meaning of working working means it's a load it is called as working load in some book they have called it as service load both are same working load service load so what is the meaning of working load so you see when you are designing rcc structures you are designing rcc elements you are designing a beam slab column etc so when you are designing any rcc elements what you do you consider the load acting on the structure load acting on column load acting on slab load acting on beam load acting on structures so when we are designing the structures by wsm philosophy we have to consider actual load coming on the structure actual load coming on the structure on the structure for example uh, you want to design a column and column you have calculated what is load coming on the column and you got that column is subjected to 1000 kilonewton load it is subjected to 1000 kilonewton load so when you are designing by wsm method you will consider actual load and this actual load is nothing but working load you are designing the rcc elements for by considering actual load uh, this is what is done in wsm but in ulm and lsm what you are doing, you are increasing the load. For example, you are taking the column and this column is subjected to 1000 kN, but you will not design the column for 1000 kN. What you will do, you will increase the load. For example, for example, it is not the exact figure. You will take 1500 kN load to design the column. But actually speaking, the column is subjected to so this is what is the difference between uh, WSM and other design philosophies. In WSM you see the factor of safety uh, to the load is not applied which means uh, we consider actual load for the design of the structures. If in case you apply factor of safety uh, you will not take actual load for the design purpose you will increase the load uh, that is what we are doing in uh, ulm and in lsm wherein we apply factor of safety to the load but here in wsm you are not applying factor of safety to the load but we are applying factor of safety to the material factor of safety is applied to the material now in case of rcc structures you have two materials concrete and steel and you are applying factor of safety to this material when we are using WSM philosophy. Okay, so what we say here, we say that when we are using WSM philosophy, we say that the material strength is not adequate. And for safety reasons, we have to reduce the strength of this material. Okay, and when they are reducing the strength of this material, they are calling it as uh, permissible stress. Permissible stress. So now we have to define permissible stress, per permissible stresses in the concrete and permissible stresses in the steel. Okay. So first we will see what is the permissible stress in the concrete. Permissible stress, uh, it depends on the grade of concrete we have to define the grade of concrete first grade of concrete 
concrete normally you have three to four types of grade of concrete m20 m25 m30 uh, m30 you can <coughs> increase depending upon the requirement of the strength of concrete permissible stress in the concrete permissible stress in the concrete stress in the concrete now you know the basic properties of the concrete you all know basic properties of the concrete concrete is good in compression and it is weak in tension it is good in compression and weak in tension so we are employing we are using concrete to take care of compression okay so when we are talking about compression you have two types of compression i will talk about that sigma cbc sigma cbc is there and sigma cc is there okay so for m20 the sigma cbc value is 7 newton per mm square 7 newton per mm square sigma uh, for for m25 it is 8.5 and for m30 it is 10 sigma cc value is 5 6 10 for different grades of concrete okay so i, I told you we have a uh, uh, different kinds of compression sigma cc means Permiss permissible stress in bending compression and sigma cc means permissible stress in direct compression so first we will talk about this m20 uh, the, the value of sigma cc for m20 it is 7 we say that this is the permissible stress in the concrete 7 is the permissible stress for m20 grade concrete the meaning of this is m20 grade concrete can only take 7 newton per mm square can take the strength up to 7 newton per mm square if it is taking 8 then the concrete fails so normally what we are doing we are reducing the strength of the concrete and we are calling it as permissible stress in the concrete okay so similarly m25 will take up to 8.5 and m30 will take up to 10 newton per mm square now what is sigma cc and sigma uh, cbc you will see that you have two kinds of compression you have two kinds of compression when uh, you are talking about beam beam have two kinds of behavior sagging behavior or hogging behavior so let's consider the sagging behavior of the beam uh, you have a, the you have neutral axis so above neutral axis uh, the section is subjected to compression and below neutral axis the section is subjected to tension now you see above neutral axis you call it as compression you call here the section is subjected to compression but this compression is bending and when you are designing beam by using WSM you have to define permissible stress in bending compression because concrete is subjected to compression and also it is subjected to bending okay now when we have to take sigma cc value sigma cc value we have to take when we are dealing with direct compression so most of the column uh, you see when it is subjected to load the column is not subjected to bending compression in some cases it is subjected to bending compression but most of the columns are subjected to direct compression so when you are designing column uh, by wsm philosophy you have to consider sigma cc value okay so in the in the comment section you tell me why sigma cc value is less than sigma cbc uh, if in any case you if you are not getting then i will answer but you try by yourself similarly uh, we have to define the permissible stresses in the steel now you know very well steel is good in tension and it is also good in compression uh, steel is employed in beam to take care of tension and it is employed in column to take care of compression so in wsm we have to define the permissible stresses in steel uh, in tension as well as in compression okay
so first we have to define the grade of steel grade of steel is 415 normally we use two kinds of grade of steel fe250 that is mild steel fe415 is hyst bars you can also increase the uh, strength of uh, steel okay fe415 up to 20 mm up to 20 mm it is talking about the diameter diameter up to 20 mm for that sigma st value permissible stress in tension is 230 newton per mm square okay sigma sc value is 190 newton per mm square over 20 fe415 over 20 more than 20 mm diameter sigma st value is same 230 newton per mm square and sigma sc value is also same 190 newton per mm square okay so this is about uh hyst bar fe415 for fe250 fe250 250 again you have to define up to uh, 20 mm and more than 20 mm for up to 20 mm the permissible stress in fe250 is 140 and uh, sigma sc is 130 over 20 mm over 20 mm uh, this is 130 and this is again 130 okay so this are the permissible stresses that we need to consider when we use wsm philosophy thank you for watching this video thank you very much